Hey y'all, it's Andrew Reed with Mossy Creek Mushrooms. And today, I wanna give you a strain spotlight. Strain game. I'm not sure we need to come up with a name for it. Either way, I wanna talk about strains again. This is our King Blue Oyster. And you can see that it can be kind of a big boy. It, it produces really, really well. We call it the Ugly Fungling. That was actually uh, Melanie's contribution, um, our web admin. And you can see it's called that because it grows horrendously ugly when it's a baby. Just ugly, ugly, ugly. However, this is one of the best tasting mushrooms I've ever had in my life. It's got thick, soft stems. The core is soft. I like my chefs can use this thing from the tip down to the substrate like this it's just an amazingly productive strain and i've got some b-roll in here a little bit where i produced a cluster it's like 3.4 pounds or something um first flush we still got a whole other second flush to go it's gonna be another couple pounds that's five pounds of mushroom more than five pounds oftentimes that i'm getting off my master's mix blocks um I mean, in order to get those kind of numbers, your stuff has to be really dialed in. You have to be able to have your humidity and your lighting going. But this strain is just such a productive strain in, in ideal and sometimes less than ideal conditions. It produces um, even in warm weather. And that's one of the best things about it is that it's a warm weather oyster, holds up, strong shelf life, great flavor, good smell. And all you gotta pay for it is, is just that it's a little ugly. It's just a little ugly in the beginning. And then it grows into just a beautiful mushroom. You can see this one's starting to turn a little cuter now. It's getting a little blue on him. We just picked all the big pretty ones. But that strain, whew, I need to get out of the grow room. The strain is just phenomenal um, in, the, in the grow room. It's easy in the lab, it's a fast grower. I have to incubate it a lot less than I have to incubate all like some other oysters, sometimes by as little um, as seven days before I'm putting it in the grow room. That's not the norm, that is sometimes. Sometimes, I mean, what we're, we're talking about is like 10 days. And then put it in the grow room, initiate it, and you're talking another seven to 10 days when you're picking mushrooms. That's fast. So it's fast, it's a good producer, and it's just so tasty, the chefs can, can just use it. The big thing is, it's voluminous. Like, there's a lot of volume to it. And so, it's heavy, but it's gigantic. So, it doesn't fit into a box super easy all the time. Um, but I'm okay with that problem. I really am. So if you guys are interested in trying any of your strains, I highly suggest the King Blue. It is one of my all-time favorite oyster mushroom strains. So check it out, and uh, as always, y'all, keep spawning culture.